Hello, everybody. Good evening. Thank you for joining us here at Emmett's Place. We want to start off by saying happy Martin Luther King Day. Uh, we dedicate this concert uh, to the memory of Martin Luther King and everything that he stands for, um, which is extremely important, especially in this time. And uh, we also are celebrating uh, the birthday of the great, the one and only, our guiding light in this music, Mr. Cedar Anthony Walton. And uh, we, we have a wonderful program, a piano summit for you planned tonight uh, with Mr. Julius Rodriguez, with Matisse Picard, and also one of the men who played with Cedar Walton uh, many, many nights and who teaches us uh, how to be more like Cedar and how to play his music and how to understand how to communicate with the ancestors of this music, the great Joe Farnsworth, who we'll hear from in just a minute. And Joe says, whenever you do a tribute to Cedar, you start off with Cedar's blues. And that's what we're going to do.
That's Kyle Poole on the drums. We're going to now welcome one of the masters of our music, uh, someone that is so integral to the scene, um, to the lifeblood of this music in New York City, um, someone who's per perpetually teaching, um, whether he knows it or not. He's, he's just spewing information about the great Art Taylor, Billy Higgins, Tootie Heath, uh, Elvin Jones. He's been around all the greatest drummers and all the greatest jazz musicians and is so selfless with his approach to bestowing that knowledge. Um, I played with him last night at Smalls and we did a Joe's Cedar Walton tribute. Um, and it is just a pleasure and an honor to have you here in the apartment at the drums sharing this music with us. Thank you so much. Put, put your hands together in and outside the house. That's Mr. Joe Farnsworth from South Hadley. Massachusetts, Joe Farnsworth.
great. Joe Farnsworth on the drums. Thank you so much, Joe. That's a, that's a tune called Something in Common by Sam Jones, by Holmes, um, that Cedar played often. And uh, I'm going to relinquish, re relinquish the throne here. Um, you're, you're the closest. Uh, I, met, I, I met this man um, when he was just a wee lad. <laughs> Not that he's that much older now, uh, but he's been coming around, hanging on the scene forever. Um, known him as a drummer and as a pianist, and uh, he's one of the most beautiful souls that we know out here and one of the most important figures for our music, representing it in a wide variety of places. And uh, I'm so honored to have him in the house. This is Mr. Julius Rodriguez.
Is this thing on? <laughs> uh, yeah, my name is Julius. I'm paying tribute to the great Cedar Walton today. It's his birthday yesterday. I never got to meet Cedar, unfortunately, or see him play. But um, his music has been a huge inspiration to me, being as huge of a fan as of the Jazz Messengers as I was, and also him as a pianist, as a person, what he's done for you know, the jazz community as he was around. And you get to see it trickle down through people like the great Joe Farnsworth, who gets to be around us and teach us all he's learned from Cedar. Um, we just played Naima, which was a John Coltrane composition that Cedar played uh, with the Eastern Rebellion Band. And now we are going to continue with a tune Cedar wrote for his wife, Martha. This is entitled Martha's Prize. And Martha is sponsoring tonight, so we're going to give a big thank you to her.
Orange Julius, thank you, man, thank you. Beautiful. Uh, now we have a man next up from Madagascar originally, um, but he's a, he's a man of the universe and a man of the world, speaks many languages, plays many instruments, and uh, has inspired me when he moved to New York. Um, and he plays a lot with, uh, with Russell and Kyle and also with Michael Mwenzo and the Shakes. And so we've been in similar circles, and whenever we get a chance to play and have communion, it's always a beautiful thing. Please welcome the wonderful Mr. Matisse Picard. <laughs>
The one and only Matisse Picard. That's Kyle Poole on the drums. Russell Hall on the bass. <laughs> hey, Joe, you, you want to say a little something? We got your mic right there. First of all, get back out here, man. How about Kyle Poole? What, what's going on here, man? Get him on. Come on out. Come on. Woo, man. That brought me back to days where I was sitting at the Bradleys. I would sit right there and my nose could touch Billy Higgins' hi-hat. And I just happened to be sitting there one night next to Max Roach and Bobby Hutchison. Can you believe that? And they were, su I mean, just, I couldn't believe it. And I was like 22 years old. I couldn't say a word this way. And I was looking this way. I couldn't say a word this way. I was stunned at what I was watching. And it's the same feeling right now. Kyle Poole, man. The, the drums are in great hands, man. Great. Yes. Yeah, man. Great piano playing, man. Now we have to acknowledge one of the greats of all time, my main man. Mike Buenzo's in the house. Come on, man. Is, it, is that true? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that reminds me of the time, you know, I was sitting over there, I was sitting on the side, and for some reason, the, my posture got better, man, and, uh, and, and like, uh, when Billy Higgins would play a, a Sweet Basil, you know, you'd walk into the bars on the right, and there was a big a club, and you walk down the, not the hallway, whatever, the pathway, and then the stage would be to your left, where the, where the, the hi-hat would be, and then there was a bathroom to the right, and then when, when, when Cass would walk in, They'd always have to stand right next to Billy Higgins, and, and Billy Higgins, his posture was always great, but he was, it would even get even greater when someone walked in, you know, when he knew someone was checking it out, and God forbid, when, like, Max Roach and Tony Williams would walk in, it seemed like Billy became, like, seven foot tall. It was just, like, he was playing, like, uh, like sun rays up into the sky, man. It was, like, he always looked great, but when the guys came in, he, you know, he just had that posture, you know. That's the same way I feel when Mike Wenzel comes in the house, man. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Anyways, we want to keep on going. I could talk about C all night. It was amazing watching him play. When I came to New York, for me, there was really two schools of, of that I wanted to get into. The George Coleman School and the Cedar Walton School. And I made, my, I, I made sure that I was there every night when they played. And that's when... Um, they asked her, why do you have this drummer? He says, every time I looked up, I saw his big head. And so it was just me. So it was, that was his way of, uh, thank you, Seed. And uh, I'm wearing this bow tie tonight, man, in, in honor of Cedar. We were on this tour in London, and uh, they canceled our flight, so we had to stay in this hotel. And we, we, we went to dinner in a, ho a hotel, and uh, he was wearing like a Puma sweatsuit. So it's all right, man. So I, we had a six in the morning lobby call, and he came out popping in a tuxedo. I said, whoa, what happened, man? This is a uh, Fondra. This is a little Milt Jackson trick. You got you to gotta make the people know what they're missing when they walk out. So when Cedar walked out of the hotel in this tuxedo, I was like, wow, man. That was so cooking, man. Yeah. And, uh, and, I, and I got to sit next to him the whole way home, man. It was just, I was just talking his ear off. He was so happy. Anyways, I could keep going on. But the last thing I want to say, yeah, yeah, well, he used to call you up at 3, 4, 5 in the morning. He knew where Ronnie Matthew was. Uh, for uh, uh, you, think, uh, think, you think Ronnie uh, got into a cologne in time? I'm like, I don't know. It's 4 in the morning. He says, yeah. So well, John Hicks is over in San Francisco, and Ronnie Matthews is over in Germany. And, uh, yes, I think McCoy Tyner starts tomorrow in, you know, in Paris. I'm like, he just knew, he was always on the phone. He knew where everyone was. Very connected, man. And one of the great stories, when we, he was playing Groundwork, the first time I played, he says, uh, Fun's with, uh, need a little more dynamics there. I said, okay. So I gave him some dynamics. He says, Farnsworth, this isn't the Stan Kenton band. This is the Cedar Wild Trio. So I said, oh. <laughs> I said, okay. He says, yes, uh, I, I had my taste in big bands and, uh, when I was a young lad, I sat in with the great Duke Ellington. Can you believe the nerve in me, Farnsworth? I said, no, man, I can't believe this. And I said, Duke, may I sit in, please? And Duke said, take it easy on the keys, young man. And it was, uh, wow, it was beautiful, man. Anyways, let's continue onwards. 
the great Joe Farnsworth. Thank you, Joe. Uh, we'd now like to play, we'd now like to play uh, Cedar Walton arrangement of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and we'd like to dedicate that uh, to the memory of Junior Mance, who passed away yesterday, and also to Sammy Nestico. Uh, we had two losses, and uh, we'd like to dedicate it also to Cedar and his whole family who's watching. Um, and we thank you, Martha, for sponsoring this evening. And we also uh, want to give a shout out to Naisha and uh, Rodney and Cedra and Carl. We know you're also watching. We see you're out there, and we love you very much. And this goes out to all of you.
Joe Farnsworth. Farnsworth. <laughs> Russell Hall on the bass. Joe Farnsworth, Farnsworth says, it's time for Firm Roots. This is for Carl.
Wow. Well, we're, we're, we're approaching that time. That's Julius Rodriguez, yeah. Matisse Picard, yeah. Joe Farnsworth on the drums, Russell Hall on the bass. That's Kyle Poole on the drums, too. And uh, we want to thank, once again, Martha Walton, Martha Samachichia, for sponsoring this evening tonight. We really appreciate you. We also want to thank the Jazz Crews, who's a presenting sponsor, and we, we will be uh, sailing with them in 2022, so never too early to book up. Um, <laughs> we want to thank uh, we want to thank Andrew Ruiz working the camera, my man Tavares working the cams, Alex White's his gear back home. We love you, Alex, and uh, George Box tuning the piano tonight. We're gonna need we're gonna need to revisit the tuning though, I think, and. Uh, <laughs> And this is for Mal this is for Martha.
say one more or something? Uh, I think you got it, man. This is the end. You, we want to hear from you, Joe.
ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. That's Joe Farnsworth on the drums. Russell Hall on the bass. Kyle Poole on the drums. Our special guest, Matisse Picard on the piano. And Orange Julius Rodriguez on the piano. Yours truly, Emmett Cohen. Anything uh, you'd like to donate goes directly to the band. We take PayPal and Venmo and Cash App and Bitcoin and all that stuff. So we hope uh, you'll leave us a little something. If not, just send some love, send some positivity in the world. We remember Martin Luther King on this day. We remember Cedar Anthony Walton on this day. And uh, we bid you farewell. Once again, Joe Farnsworth on the drums. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>